as a physician, uh, in addition to a researcher, uh, the more of these types of drugs we have, the better. So I, I hope that uh, uh, Gilead and uh, other companies are working on the same types of projects and that uh, we can get these drugs to be available to people who haven't been vaccinated yet and get sick or people who get who have been vaccinated and get the variants anyway or people who've gotten vaccines uh, in which the uh, immunity is waning because it's been a long time since they were vaccinated. I think there are you know, a lot of places where drugs like this can be used and I'm very anxious to see more of it be done, more of this type of work be done. Yeah, I mean, we, we would have to complete some studies, uh, some preclinical studies in animals just to understand better the um, safety of the drug uh, in several different animal species. Uh, we would then uh, start giving, uh, we would formulate the drug in a way that it could be given in capsules. Uh, and then we would give it to um, either healthy people uh, or people who have very, very mild COVID and measure the concentrations of drug in the bloodstream at various points in time after various doses to figure out what the best dose is. Uh, and then we would do clinical trials in people uh, with the um, conditions that we've talked about already to see if we can help them benefit. Um, you know, we could be conceivably in humans uh, over the course of the next year. And um, a lot of it just depends on, um, you know, how quickly things go. That's why we, in some ways, that's why we call it research. But what we're doing from now on is relatively straightforward as drug development goes. And we, there's a lot of experience already with remdesivir itself. Uh, the other nice thing about this is the treatment course is relatively short. You only would be giving it for five or ten days, and you would see pretty quickly whether it was preventing people from getting in the hospital uh, so that the research itself, once we get into people, would be, uh, I think, relatively efficient. It's very different from trying to see if a, a blood pressure pill, for example, prevents you from having a stroke several years later. So if it's successful, this is something we could see in the market in a couple of years? Certainly hope so. Um, you know, Merck is working on a drug called Molnupiravir, and that drug uh, is continuing to be developed, that one might even be available next year. Who knows? You know, I think that uh, people have been so focused on vaccines, as I am, uh, but there's a lot of work going on in therapeutics, and I think that uh, oral drugs are around the corner.